Good morning, guys. I am at the Goodwill Outlet, the bin. So we're going to go inside and see what we can find today. I only have about an hour, so not a ton of time, but I haven't been here in a little bit. I came a couple weeks ago, but whew, I'm excited to get inside and see what we can find. Okay, let's go. I got distracted and forgot to film, but I did really good. I spent, I think, $68. I got right under 50 pounds and you know, it's all bread and butter. There's nothing magical in this haul, but I'm excited about it. I don't mind selling things for $20 to $30. That's my average sell price. Nothing beats the bins. Nothing beats the bins. I spent two hours inside and, you know, I'll probably have at least $500 to $1,000 in profit. I'll sit down and map everything out, do a cost analysis, and then um, share that with you guys. Next, I'll do the haul. I'm so excited. I haven't done this in so long. It feels so good. I swear, like, I don't even care if no one watches this video. <sighs> it really feels like I'm going back to where I started and it feels good to be doing these videos. So yeah, we have a Goodwill Outlet haul video. Six years ago-ish, I need to look at the dates, but it's been out six years since I filmed my first Goodwill Outlet Haul video, and that's what my channel really became popular for, was my Goodwill Outlet Haul videos. Hi there, Seven. Um, look at her. Oh my god, she's cute. Let's talk about my haul, because I'm excited to show you guys what I got, what I'm going to sell, and what I'm doing. So I sell mainly on Poshmark. I also sell on Macari, and um, I use Vendu to cross-list onto those sites. You guys don't use Vendu. I always have a code linked down below, but you don't have to use it. I'm just telling you that it's there. So Vendu um, allows you to cross list. It also gives you a lot of analytics. It's really great. I love Vendu. And um, so some of this will get cross listed. It depends on how I'm feeling, honestly. Um, but first off, we have some hats. Hats, I know. Hats. So the bins were kind of rough. It wasn't like my best day ever. And, you know, I'm still kind of getting my footing from being back at the bins, but this is what happened. I walked by a bin that had clearly been out for like an hour. And I saw this, it was flipped over. I saw the tag and I was like, no one has grabbed this yet. No way. Because this hat is like probably retailed for around $300. And, um, I should be able to sell it for 50 to 100, somewhere in that range. I really need to say that these are just estimates when I'm talking, especially right now. I have not pulled exact comps for these. I don't even remember what I got. I'm just going to go through it and then I'll make my piles and go forward from that. Um, I do send out offers. Things sell for less. Things sell for more. I think it all kind of like evens out at the end of the day. So uh, this brand, if you don't know this brand, big, big bolo. So there is, can you guys see the label in there? It's Helen something. Please remember that my speech is not the best. Helen, Kev, Cam, I don't know. This is a great brand. Here is the little logo. So if you see that on the hat, that's what it is. And um, I'm really, I was really excited when I found this. This is probably my best find of the day. It's in good shape there. I feel like there was like, oh yeah, a little spot right here, but that will clean it right off. Um, and then I found the, this hat was with it. This is a Marcus um, Ad, Adler hat. These are sold at like Nordstrom's and this one was a really cool looking sun hat. So I grabbed this and then this is also, I got two Marcus Adler hats, I thought. Oh, I do have another Marcus Adler hat. Hold on. Found it. Okay, the other Marcus Adler hat. Trying like, I have the cinematic mode turned on and there we go. It's like really hard to use this mode. There. Ta-da. So two Marcus Adler hats. I paid $69, oh, like almost $70 for the whole haul. And honestly, those three hats should pay for my haul. We love that. We love that. I forgot how much I love the bins. I forgot, you guys. Okay, then I have three more hats. Um, this is not labeled, but I could tell that this was probably something good. 
Uh, and I grabbed it. Um, I'm going to try and use Google image search to find out what it is. We'll see. I don't know. It's at the bins. I paid 50 cents for it, you guys. This is a really cute hat. This is by CC Exclusives. I don't think that's anything exciting, but look at this. Look at the like, it's showing up. It's got like this crocheted tiered. It's just really cute. Summer's coming up. It's in really good shape. I grabbed that. And then this is DNY. It was 100% paper. And again, just a really fun, cute hat. So I grabbed it. Um, okay, so clothing, I don't remember what I got, you guys. I was like, should I sort it first or should I just sort it with them? I'm just going to sort it with you. This is a fleece of some sort. Is it Columbia? Probably. I live in um, an area where all this stuff is located, like Columbia's headquarters here, Nike, all that. Um, uh, here we go. Columbia. This is a small, and this is just a like tunic length cowl neck fleece. Woo! I was like, what am I trying to say? The thing I like about Columbia is it's easy to figure out what it is because it will have a style code down here. Hi, focus. So the style code is on this tag. This style code is going to be AL1513. Usually the style codes start with like the uh, two letters and then four numbers. So I will just type in Columbia, da da da, and I should be able to find a stock photo pretty easy and it really feels like it's brand new. So that's good. We have a Nike. This is just a hoodie. And again, Nike also has the style numbers on them. Very easy to find. So we like that. I was excited to find this. Um, this is a little corduroy style jumper. It's got a little bit of dust. That's fine. It's from the bins. But it is from Free People and it's brand new with tags, you guys. Wow, my focus is not good. Hold on. Let me set, change some settings here. There we go. Let's take it off of cinematic mode. We don't need to be that fancy. Free people. There's seven. Oh my gosh, I just love her so much. I just do. Uh, so yeah, brand new with tags. I'm not going to turn that down at the bins. No way, Jose. This is something uh john galt this was in this cool house this is brandy melville and i thought this was really cool it just says los angeles and it is a cut off crew neck that one will probably sell for 20 to 25 dollars but i don't the bins my average sell is 20 dollars an item and i'm a hundred percent fine with that because i list really fast and pretty efficient at this point in my career i can list 50 items a day no problem so for me, the bins, it works. Uh, this is a Rails. So this is a Rails linen shirt and it is an extra, extra small. I would not have bought this at the thrift store, but I probably paid under a dollar for it and uh, it might sit for a little bit, but it will sell. And this also is one of those brands where they have the style names on them. So it makes it really easy to see. Yeah, and it's in perfect condition. We have a pair of jeans. These are J. Crew. These are a newer J. Crew. This is the straightaway jean. I found these with the Rails, and it's also a very small size. But, you know, again, it's okay. Um, so, yeah, just a nice little J. Crew jean in a size 24. These are, they need to be washed and delinted, but they were too cool to leave behind. These are Nike size medium fleece like teddy bear pants look at how cool these are these are nike sportswear uh really great little pants i'll wash them call it a day and they'll probably sell for 30 to 40 dollars okay this i almost threw back because i grabbed it and i was like oh it's just like a nasty flannel but then i was like you know i don't look at it and i did and it's actually ralph lauren um denim and supply i like taking up denim and supply it seems to do decent for me and people like flannel so just a nice little black and white plaid flannel shirt uh, this is athleta this is an older athleta tag I, I honestly despise these little athleta tags but i always steam them that is a trick with I really feel like steaming your tags can add value to your item because it really 
when someone's looking through your listing and the tag is all like crinkled and kind of gross looking, it might turn some people off. Quick steam, boop, get it straight, get it organized, and people are going, it looks, it looks newer. It just does. So there's the athletic tag and um, it is uh, an extra large. So really cute. This would be really great with just layings. And this also has the big style number on it. So it'll be easy to lift. Uh, I did find one Lululemon piece and it is just a sports bra. I sold this bra a bunch of times. I think this is the energy bra. Anyway, and this is an older one, I think. You can tell, hold on. So I'll have to find the size dot. Once I find the size dot, I'll be able to tell because if it's just a number, then it's older. If it's a number with like numbers around it, it's gonna be a newer piece. Anyway, I'm babbling. It's just a little lemon bra. This is uh, by the brand called Three Dots. And it is just an open front little cardigan, like a jersey knit. There's the tag. Some of this stuff was sold at Costco, so you have to be careful. <laughs> we have a pair of Paige. Um, are these jeans? These are pants, I don't know. Paige, and they are the ones with zippers. They're a size 28. Goodwill wanted $20 for them. I would not have paid $20. They're the Edgemont pants. Uh, they need to be washed, like most things. Also, all this stuff they wash, honestly. And this sweater, I... Uh, hmm, I really debated on it. So this is an old anthropology. It's Ingrid Haas. Uh, it's older anthropology and has like kind of this cool design on it. I ended up just grabbing it. I didn't look up comps. I should have, but I grabbed it and I'll let you know if it fills. Yes. We'll see. Welcome to my life at the bins. Oh, this was a good find. Okay. This is Adidas. Adidas, Nike, all that stuff is like, there's so many different compartments to them, right? Like Nike, there's the stuff that they sell at Kohl's and then there's the stuff they sell at like boutique stores. Oh, two very different things. And it takes a long time to realize what's what. Luckily I get so much in my area that I can kind of, I don't know. I've really taken it upon myself to learn over the past few years and pay attention to what's selling and what's popular on those brands because they're headquartered here. So this is Adidas, but this is a reigning champ uh collaboration so it's not just adidas so uh collaborations i will genuinely look up and this is just a nice little space dye knit hoodie range jump there this is an older collaboration but i still think it was worth picking up and hopefully i can sell it for at least 30 dollars if not more again i haven't looked up comps on any of this stuff so bear with me this is just a toby dress i grabbed it because it is super cute sequined Valentine's Day is just around the corner. It's too late to sell this for Valentine's Day, but how cute is this? So Toby is a brand. It is an extra small, but I think it will still sell. Maybe for homecoming or, you know, who knows? Who knows? It's really cute, right? Someone wants that. I know someone wants that. Soft surroundings, I will still pick up. Um, I sell soft surroundings. I have no problem with it. This needs to be washed. It's very linty, but it is a tunic with velvet sleeves and it's covered in lint. Next up, we have a pair of pants. <laughs> I don't remember what these are. Oh, they're BDG uh, from Urban Outfitters and they are cool, you guys. So these are, do they have the name on them? They're size 30, that's my size. Maybe I should wear them. Probably not. Sometimes they have the name of them, but I don't see it. So these are super, super wide leg, cool um, BDG jeans. And I was like, somebody wants to buy these. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, I forgot that I sing randomly when I'm filming videos. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what this brand is, but it was cute. And it was something I was like, yeah, someone wants that, I guess. I gotta start looking stuff up. When I'm at the bins, I don't always look stuff up. I look for flaws and if I recognize a brand or not. Sometimes I will 
but this is a really soft like the uh chanel chanel how do you say that anyway this oh uh, this cropped kind of cowl neck sweater it's by yarn and C. I think this might just be a boutique brand to be honest with you i don't know i need to do some research i have never found this brand you can see that goodwill wanted 7.99 for it i didn't pay that much but it was cute and it's soft <laughs> Okay, um, oh, I got this cool jacket. It's a denim jacket from American Eagle. Cool. But really, this stuff sells, especially right now. Look, I love a good sell. I just sold a dress for $700. We love a $700 sell, but that doesn't pay the bills by any means. That just doesn't pay the bills. Um, what pays the bills are things like this, those $20 to $50 sells that will happen all day long. Uh, the other stuff is just like a fun bonus, in my opinion. And, you know, in order to get those higher dollar sales, you really need more cash flow because you're going to be paying more money for those items. So there's pros and cons. I like to have a little bit of a mix in my store. Anyway, this is a American Eagle denim jacket and it is has that like fur Sherpa lining and then it has this really cool it's not removable either I thought it was removable at first kind of look like Muppet fur but you know it's fun check it what size are you <laughs> you're a size medium so cool size and let's see does it have the date it has a style number and date down here usually oh 2017 Ooh, about five years old I still think someone wants this. I do. I do. But I paid up for this. Probably like, it's heavy. Probably paid like four or five dollars for that. Grab this Vince scarf. It was folded super nice and neat. And no one had even unfolded it yet. And it sells a dry cleaning tag. That is the older Vince label. I will not always pick that label up. But this is a cashmere blend scarf. I thought it was really pretty and it's lightweight enough to be like a good spring scarf. Two, that came home with me. Next up. What's this? What's this? Oh, this is Neotags. American Eagle. Uh, Neotags extra large ribbed cardigan sweater. You know, $15, $20 sale. I don't, oh, I needed to look this up. Hmm. I do think this is good. I feel like I've sold this brand before and there was a few telltale signs that this was good. So let's talk about these pants. So these are like gaucho style pants. You can see here, very lagging look, very art to wear, elastic pull on waist. You can tell it's a higher quality fabric. Um, and then the sizing, so it has this little size tag and it says made in India. Where's the brand? The brand is in here, I found it, hold on. Where are you? Ah, there we go. Okay, what brand are you? I found the brand and I was like, I think these are good, but I have, I'm gonna have to do some research and I will report back, but I have a feeling about these and we'll see how they do. Okay. That was not helpful for you guys at all, but maybe it was. Community. Uh, sweater community is a Ritzia brand. This is an older piece, but it's still like a nice, cute, lightweight sweater. I need to wash it. That's easy. This is a new tag sweater. So this is interesting because I didn't know this. Um, this is just a Banana Republic piece, but it has Polar Tech. And I thought that was really interesting. I've never seen Banana Republic like Polar Tech stuff. So I went ahead and grabbed that. It's a size small and it's just like a really nice little cream sweater. We have a new Tags Torrid shirt. This would have been a good Valentine's Day shirt too, a little blouse. Um, it has, oh, that is so cute. Was this supposed to be a Valentine's Day shirt? Oh, it was, look at, it has little hearts and um, like, ugh, look envelopes well it's too late but someone still wants this this is so pretty this is really pretty and flattering and we love a brand new attacks item 
Adidas cropped sweatshirt. An Adidas cropped sweatshirt. That's it. Nothing, nothing crazy. A $20 bill is what I like to call that. I pulled this out with the Banana Republic piece. And it was also due with tags. They were sitting right next to each other. I'm assuming they're from the same person. So this is actually a Brooks running. This is like a running company. Brooks, brand new with tag. This is a jacket from them. Um, yeah, we love it. We love a new with tags Brooks jacket. List that for 35, 40 bucks. I got this purse. Uh, <laughs> you guys remember these? These are Kipling's. They were very popular when I was young and I feel like everything that was popular when I was young is back. And I found these bags before at the bins, but it is pretty rare to find them with the exclusive, very exclusive monkey keychain. They all came with a monkey keychain. That's a big deal. Okay, look at it. <gasps> the monkey keychain is still attached and it really is in like perfect condition. What's that? Maybe I'll get 30 bucks for that. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. We have a tie. This is just a Ted Baker London tie. It's blue. Look at the lining though. The lining is cute. I wish this is what the tie looked like. It is a giraffe wearing a tie. <laughs> love it. Oh, I love a giraffe wearing a tie. That's very funny because giraffes have really long necks and I've been hanging out by myself for way too long. Splendid jumpsuit. So here is a splendid jumpsuit. I don't buy a lot of splendid, but you guys, jumpsuits, jumpsuits in general sell well for me. I love jumpsuits. Maybe that's why they sell well for me because I put a lot more of that positive energy. I just love a jumpsuit. I think a jumpsuit is a really, it's an easy way to live your life. <laughs> splendid, medium super huge jumpsuit with pockets very flattering and it has like the little faux leather trim <laughs> my goodwill wanted $7.99 for this jumpsuit I don't know what it will sell for but I should look that up first maybe how fun would that be this is a bra uh this is pan uh, I'm saying that wrong I'm saying that wrong Anyway, it's a swimsuit top. I just sold one of these recently, I feel like, for like $40. So we love that. I love swimwear. I actually have a whole thing swimwear list. This is a bra. If you guys have been following my Poshmark store at all, you know that I've been listing a ton of bras. I love selling bras. It is one of the easiest things to sell. I've been talking about this for years. Love bras. I love bras from the bins especially. This bra is in like new condition. It might actually be new. It still has a little thing. I would guess that no one's ever worn this bra. And it is Kashyyyk and it is a 46C. Random sizes sell the best. So, you know, we have our 32As and our 36Cs and there's a lot of those on the market, but a 46C, not so much. And most women will know their bra sizes and I mean, I know my bra size and they have no problem saving money and buying them on the Poshmark. So I sold lots of bras. I sold probably, I think $100 in bras just yesterday. Oh, they're good. These are um, LLB, LLB. I really haven't done this in a while, you guys. I know I'm also looking at myself instead of the camera. I have so much to like muscle memory to get back to. I'm sorry. Oh, this is not good cream soda. I really regret my choice in trying to be fancy. I got this Virgil's handcrafted vanilla cream soda from the bougie grocery store. And I really wish I would have just gotten like the cheap stuff in a can. The A&W cream soda. I love cream soda though. Not that one. Do not recommend. This is now a review channel for cream sodas. Maybe I should just drink a cream soda every time I do a haul. That cream soda gets, hold on, out of five stars. Mm -mm. Okay. 
the original taste when it first hits your taste buds has like almost like a plasticky taste to it. It's very weird. The aftertaste, fine. Beginning taste, not so good. So two, two out of 10. Two out of five, two out of five. Wouldn't buy again, but I'm gonna drink the ones I have, okay? A one star would be like, I'm not gonna buy this again and I'm going to give away the ones I have. Why the, am I telling you this? Why? <laughs> no one cares. <sighs> okay. L.L. Bean, this is what you're here for. L.L. Bean, uh, men's pajama pants, you guys. Don't sleep on L.L. Bean. Don't do it. Don't sleep on L.L. Bean. These are, I would guess, brand new. They feel, they saw like the fold lines in them. Um, they probably had a matching top at one point. Doesn't anymore. Maybe I'll sell them for 20 bucks. Oh, this was an interesting bin. So this bin had like a ton of this, these leggings in them, but they were all like really torn up. Like, I don't know what happened to this lady's leggings, but they were, they got loved and used. And I appreciate that. They had holes, they were ripped, they were stained, they were covered in paint one pair. Like, what happened here? This is a TNA, which is a Ritzia brand. And these are just leggings, they're size small, and they have the logo down the side. You know, this is an easy $20, guys. Oh my gosh, I love the bins, I forgot. I forgot how much I love the bins. I love $10. This is where it's at. Okay, back to the bins. J. Crew. Thermal pajama pants. Look at these. These are so cozy. It just makes me want to go to a ski lodge and curl up by a fire and wear these pants. And I've never even been to a ski lodge in my life. So why am I assuming that I would wear these pants? I don't know. But here they are. I like the concept of snow, but I don't actually really like snow. <laughs> I like it to be away from me. I like to look at it. Wearing these pants, apparently. They seem short. They have a short inseam. We're back. Miss me? A Bowie t-shirt. This is just an old Navy Bowie t-shirt. I love David Bowie. I actually have a tattoo um, with some of his lyrics on my arm and, you know, we love Bowie. So Here's a Bowie t-shirt, but I thought maybe I'll keep, I would want to like distress it a little bit. I don't know if I like how, I don't love the graphic on it, but it was new with tags at the bins and it probably sold for what? $20 brand new? I don't know. I just couldn't leave Bowie behind. Hi Bowie. Now the real question is, will this stuff be listed by the time I put this video out? I don't know. I have, um, a backlog of stuff, which I am really thankful for. So when everything happened, I had a huge death pile and I was so grateful because I didn't need to leave my house at all for like, um, probably like two months. I had enough inventory and I was listing like 50 things a day. So I got rid of most of my back stock. I have a little bit, but I like to keep at least two to four weeks of back stock. It just seems smart. This past couple of years, Everything that's happened, the shutdowns and stuff, I'm just really ungrateful to have a little bit of backstock. There's lots of people who just preach not to have a backstock. I'm probably not one of them. Do I wish I could like catch up and go shopping and list it? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Do whatever works for you. This is just another Athleta pair of uh, shorts. They're little linen, like seafoam green shorts. Look, I'm, again, I'm at, looking to average 20 to $30 on these items, so. Nike. This has a little spot. We'll just wash that right off. So I went through this back and I was like, why? And this is a reversible Nike jacket, by the way. So it's just a little reversible Nike. Maybe they couldn't find the size size. I don't know. Why'd you throw this back, human? Watch me not be able to find the size either. Talking over here like, why would someone throw this back? There's obviously a reason. Maybe they're not. Maybe I need to just stop like talking about this Nike jacket and move on. Here it is. So Nike size medium, reversible pieces. The sizing will always be in the pocket somewhere. And this is old. Oh, it's from spring 2015, but I don't know. I thought it was cool. I don't know. Here's the inside. Next up. We 
we have, oh, okay, look, these are money. <laughs> You're like, what? So this is a Talbot, size 16, Irish linen skirt. Yes. Okay, back in the day when I was selling on eBay, I used to love finding modest skirts. We are talking the Duggar skirts. You know what I'm talking about. Those bad boys. Oof. They sell. They sell. I used to be able to get like for certain brands upwards of like 75, sometimes even 100 for certain ones. Like if you find a denim skirt that is like flannel lined from L.L. Bean in 1992, yes, yes, buy it. So this is similar, but this would be a spring style. This isn't quite as modest as it, it doesn't go to the ankles. It goes, it's like a midi length though. It's a size 16, which is a great size. This is a gore, I mean, it's a good skirt. This is a good skirt. And this makes me happy. And Irish, I believe this one's Irish linen. So I got Irish linen. It is just, oh, just regular linen, not Irish. I'm Irish. I get why it's better. You see what I mean? 100% linen, um, size 16, Talbot, long skirt. And they're, okay, the other thing about modest, if you're gonna use modest in your keywords, it, it can't really have a slit. That's the other trick. I learned a lot about this. My first year of reselling for some reason, I was like really into the modest skirt. So um, I also grew up in a Southern Baptist church. I know a lot about that. And stories for another day. However, you can't have like a slit. So this doesn't have a slit, which is great. So those long knee length denim skirts with no slits. Yes, or like maybe an inch of a slit. I'm done talking about this. Are you guys still watching? Is anyone still here? Okay, another piece, another one. A J. Jill chunky knit tunic. Oh, I sold this. Here's a fun story. I love when I sell random things for full price. So I listed a J, I think it was this exact one. I listed a J Jill sweater. It sold for full price in like an hour. I was like, what? Cause I always list my items kind of high to build in like offers. I was like, why is this selling so for so much? And I went and like looked at this lady's uh, love notes and you guys, there is a buyer for everything. This woman had bought five of these JJ sweaters in different colors. They were her favorite. They were her favorite. And then she had like her shoes that was obviously also her favorite. And she had bought a ton of those. And like she had like a, over a hundred love notes that she'd given people. And it was all like maybe 10 different items, but she'd spot like every color and like multiples and they were all the same size. So you know, she's buying it for herself. And I was like, you know, I get that. I feel that, I feel that in my, in my bones because I like to wear the same thing every day too. Good sweatshirt, pair of leggings, we're set. We're good. I am a 34 year old mother who sells secondhand items online. Like I don't, I don't know really use rest stuff anymore. So I felt that. So I got this, maybe she'll buy it. Maybe someone else who really loves this J Jill um, sweater. This is actually a good sweater. I'm not, I am not bagging on the sweater. I really like the chunky, the knit on the sweater. Is there a name for this? I like it. I bought it. <sighs> Tea party. <laughs> These were worn in like the early 2000s. So you feel like Paris Hilton and um, other people like that. And they're just, whenever I find these, they sell. So I pick them up, I'll list them for 30 or $40 and they will sell. We got another bra. Can you believe I only paid seventy dollars for all this stuff? A Notori bra. I have a bunch of this exact bra listed, so that's an easy thing. You just kind of copy and paste, and this also feels like it is brand new from my experience. Very picky. You got to really look at your bras before you buy them. Wow, I just said that. Okay. Um, hold on. I think. The rest of the stuff down here, yes, is all kid stuff. And I participate in a um, annual kids consignment sale. Uh, it happens twice a year in my neighborhood and I've done really well. So I pick up a lot of kids stuff now just to put into that sale. The next one's happening in April and I have a few boxes already for it. So we love that. And this is just like a little North Face purple cable knit beanie. 
for girls, and I believe it is wool. Um, all this is on Poshmark though. All this is for 20 bucks and it will sell. And then uh, this is just for my son does. So I think it was brand new. It was that little sticky. And, oh wait, this is small. This is not going to fit my 12 year old, you guys. When I started filming, Des was five and um, now he's 12. This is too small for him, but I'll list it. Look at this cute little uh, Nike hat. Let me flip it. It's a little cute Nike hat. A cute one. No one wants a hat. Or I'll put it in the kids though. We'll see. Okay, okay, pajamas. Do you want to hear a story? Do you? I mean, I told you about this vanilla soda, so let's tell you about a story. I grew up reading Harry Potter. We're not going to comment on JK Rowling. That's a whole mess. That's a whole mess of a woman, but okay. <laughs> uh, we are going to talk about is how much I loved those books growing up. I absolutely loved those books growing up. I got all my friends hooked on those books. Like we were in it. We loved Harry Potter. I went to the midnight releasing of the books. I went to the movies when they eventually came out, but I read the books all, I read the books before the movies even like started to come out. Obsessed with Harry Potter. So I've been trying to get Des, my son, to read Harry Potter because he reads, <laughs> The problem is he reads at a really high level and he reads these crazy books and uh so Harry Potter is like reading like Goodnight Moon to him or something but I keep buying him copies of the book <laughs> so for Christmas this year I gave him another copy of the first book and he was like mom I already have this I think I have three of them now and I was like great you can share them with your friends and read together and he is so frustrated with me at trying to get him to read these books so we can enjoy something together. That he finally started reading it. He finally has been reading Harry Potter. Thank you. Thank you. And um, the other day we were having lunch and he was like, my son's 12. He's autistic. He's also incredibly intelligent. And... Um, and I don't like mean that in like a condescending way. Like he has an, a 130 IQ. He's, he's smarter than I am. It's a struggle at this point in our lives. And he's like, yeah, mom. So I started reading Harry Potter and I was like, what? You did it? You did something for me? And he goes, yeah, you know, I'm to this part while we're talking about it. And he's like, so do you like it? And he's like, yeah, it's good. It's good. And so every day we play a game called high low at the dinner table. You have to say you're high for the day and you're low for the day. And even if you're having a great day, there's one point of your day that was like lower than the rest always. Right. So we have this game we play every night. And my high that day was obviously Des started reading Harry Potter. Duh. And he says, yeah, it's not the best book, but I'm reading it. And I was just like, well, I guess we'll go with that. Not the best book, but here we are. Mom really wants to read this movie or watch movies and read these books together. Right. That's the dad's story. Love that kid so much. Uh, he's like, why I started reselling many years ago. He went into kindergarten and he was really struggling with adapting to a classroom setting. And you guys probably already know the story, um, but I quit my full-time job so I could be available to him and help him in the classroom because they were trying to put him into a special education classroom instead of being mainstreamed and I fought back really hard against that because I knew that he was better off in the mainstream classroom. I think that I was correct with that and he is thriving but I had to quit my job. I quit my job so that I would be available to him and that is how I started reselling because we still needed to be able to put a roof over our head and I needed to be able to support him so he is the reason why I do this. I just told you guys way too much stuff. I'm an oversharer. I've been oversharing for years. Here we go. Harry Potter pajamas in that's a size. <laughs> so we can see if it'll wear. We'll see if it's available. Uh, then I got some other stuff for the consignment sale. Um, 
Let's see here. I love Hannah Anderson. Hannah Anderson is like a local kids company. They make mostly organic cotton clothes. I've been selling their stuff forever. I will probably sell these just on Poshmark. These are just little baby uh, long johns and I will be able to get like 20, 25 dollars for them. There is these um, two piece pajamas and these are the same size. I might lot these up together and list them for like $30. Or I'll put them in the consignment cell. I'll definitely put these dresses in the consignment cell because they're a bigger size and Hannah Anderson, like bigger sizes, gets a little, a little hard. Like a 10 year old, most 10 year olds don't wanna wear dresses like this anymore. I know because I have a nine year old daughter and she does not wanna wear this stuff anymore. But put in the consignment cell and someone will probably buy it. We have two of those. I'll list, I'll, you know, I'll make five or $10 off of them. And then there's one more hand a piece in here. Just another baby long john. Okay, and then we have a couple mini Bowden pieces. This is another great kids brand. You could sell this yourself, but again, I'm gonna put it in a consignment cell. I just find that it's easier. So that is for the consignment cell. And then here's another mini Bowden that will go, five, three, three, four. This is a really cute, little really cute mini Bowden shirt. We have some pajamas. So these are just uh, Baby Gap Pixar pajamas, uh, Toy Story ones for the kids consignment cell and a Hannah Anderson long sleeve plain shirt. And then some swimwear for the consignment cell because it is a spring summer consignment cell. So this is a girl's Nike swimsuit. And then I found a bunch of these that were brand new, which was nice. So these are all rash guards from Old Navy. That one says, whatever that says, like a sweet. Then this one and this one are new. And this, I believe, is a matching. No, it doesn't match, but there's little swim trunks too that are brand new. And again, all of this stuff straight to the consignment cell. That is easy to flip right there. Now, would I buy Old Navy Kids for Poshmark? No. There's an exception to every rule, but generally no. These were mixed down there too. These are just athleta leggings. They are peeling in the thigh area. We'll fix that up. Okay, athleta evolution. Nope, that's not, that does not say evolution. I know how to read. Uh, elation, seven, eight, tight. So that's it. Um, so that's all the clothes, but let me show you. I also got a Squishmallow, which I'm going to wash and just give to my daughter. Hello. Probably for Valentine's Day, honestly, because that is in a couple days. Has little hearts and she will love it. Okay, this is the first thing I put in my car. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of pieces, so hold on. Okay. I also bought this um, bag. <laughs> So this is one bag of it, and it is all of these waffle blocks by Little Tights. Now, let me show you. I got that, and then I got the, there's more at the bottom that have fallen out as well. The chest, so the chest recently sold on Poshmark for $35. But this, I think, has two sets in it. I think it has the castle set, <laughs> and it has, it's not alien, it has the, um, base set you guys I think it's complete from what I could see so the castle set should sell for around 50 and the space set should also sell for around 50 and that is a hundred dollars and this is the first thing I saw when I walked in so I get in my cart I hope I got all the pieces you know it's the bin that was like spread out over a full bin we'll see but even just selling um replacement pieces so let's talk about that especially if you're an eBay seller, replacement pieces are great. A lot of people like me, like maybe I'm only missing one piece and it is better for me to get a replacement piece to add the value to my set or my kid really loves it. I want to get a replacement piece. I played with it as a kid. I want to get a replacement piece, right? You can't just go buy a replacement piece anymore because these are old. So you can sell just this. You probably would get more money piecing it out, but it would sell over a longer period of time. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but there is a big, especially for replacement pieces, like this little alien man. 
This little alien man probably sells for $10 on his own. Uh, this, this little space dude, you know, another $10. So there's a lot of people who make whole businesses out of replacement pieces, and that's you know, not a bad idea. That's my haul. That's my haul. What do you guys think I'm gonna make off of this? I would guess, looking back over at it, uh, at least five hundred dollars in profit, maybe closer to a thousand, but definitely somewhere between that five hundred to a thousand dollars. And it will take me a while to get everything listed. Don't get me wrong. We have the kids stuff. We have all these different moving pieces. But I think um, I think for $70, I did pretty good. And I'm excited to start going to the bins regularly. I'm doing more of these haul videos for you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon with a new video. And I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Goodbye. <laughs>